everyone today's video i'm going to show you how to test gas pressure and how to troubleshoot a gas valve okay so to test gas pressure this is your typical honeywell gas valve this is a smart valve because you have these little things here all right if you look on your furnace on the tag there's going to be something that says manifold pressure all right that's going to tell you how much inlet pressure you need to adjust your what do you call it i'm at a loss for words the regulator to all right so what you're going to do is you hopefully you already have a dual port manometer the best one to buy is the fluke dual port manometer all right i'm going to put a link in the description if you don't have one then you can uh, just click on that one on go on amazon and find it all right what you're going to do is you are going to open this up at the bottom of every gas valve tells you the direction that the gas is flowing so it's flowing this way if you're testing gas pressure you should know which way the gas flows if you don't know which way the gas flows you shouldn't be testing gas pressure okay you might need a little more training all right so what you're going to do is you are going to take an allen wrench you're going to take this off right so you're going to turn the gas off you're going to take this off you're going to take your manometer and you're going to put the inlet side on here. You're going to take this over here off and you're going to put your other side here. You're going to turn the gas on. You're going to turn the thermostat up. When the unit calls for heat, this gas valve is going to open. You're going to look on your manometer and you're going to see what pressure it is. You're going to compare that to what's stamped on the unit. If this is LP gas, it's going to say something like 11 inches of water column. If it's lower, you're going to go to your regulator and you're going to screw it in. That's how you turn the gas pressure up. Okay. This is your outlet pressure. This is going to tell you if this gas valve is open or not. Right. So this, um, you can adjust this here. If you take the screw off of here, right here. If you have 11 inches and the outlet pressure is lower than what this states, you're going to take this screw off here, right there, that big one. Underneath that is going to be a little screw. You're going to turn that to the right to increase that to get the rating that you want. So if you need three and a half inches of water column on the inlet and you have one inch, you're going to close this typically this is going to be adjusted from the factory right but i'm just showing you how to adjust that so to turn up the pressure going to the valve you're going to turn up your regulator if you have the right pressure here but this is too low you're going to take this screw off there's going to be a black screw under there sometimes it's white and you're going to turn it to the right to turn it up or turn it to the left to turn it down that's how you adjust pressure if you have a dual port manometer, you can check both at the same time. Take a look at the description. I'll tell you exactly which one to buy. If you want to save a little money, you can get one of these old school ones where you can just check one side, right? Okay, so I'll put a link in the description to this one too. This one is a lot cheaper than the dual port manometer, but I do suggest you get the dual port one because it makes it faster. And uh, the faster you're at troubleshooting, it just saves you a lot of time to be able to check other things and so on and so forth. Another thing you're going to want to purchase if you're testing gas is going to be a carbon monoxide alarm. This is a good one by Field Piece. All right. You're messing with someone's gas. So when you're done, you need to go in the house. You need to turn on their furnace after you've checked the heat exchanger. You need to make sure that they don't have carbon monoxide in their home and make sure they have carbon monoxide alarms installed. So that's how you check gas pressure on a gas valve. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you have anything that you want me to make a video about heating and air conditioning related, just let me know and I'll make the video. Have a good one.